Okay, here we go guys, question three. <clears throat> so the table below shows corresponding values of x and y for this given function, okay? So we've got six over e to the power x plus two. It's pretty standard stuff. Now with our table, all we have to really do is pretty much find the missing value here and then round it to five decimal places. So if you're not sure how to do this, all you have to do is plug in 0 0.2 for this value of x and then find y. So in other words, you need to find, um, let me have a look, 6 over e to the power of uh, 0 0.2 and then plus 2 and once you do and once you enter the calculator well i've done it already and i got a value of let me see 1.8625 and 4. so easy mark now this is needed in order to pretty much do the trapezium rule and the trapezium rule is used to find the area under a curve for a given function and this is, instead of using integration or calculus, we can just use a nice formula. So this trapezium formula is given by this. So we could say that the, the area A under the trapezium rule would be um, the change in X or H over 2 times. And now all we have to do is, is pick two points, the, the, the value for Y at the, at, the end of, at the beginning of X and the value for Y at the end of X. So X equals 0, Y is 2, X equals 1, and Y is this value. So it would be 2 plus... 1.27165 so we just highlight we're picking these values plus and then you just do two times every other y value in between so we're going to pick these four y values so make sure you put them all in so be 1.86254 plus dot 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 so all of them plus 1.41994994 that's it so yeah so all of these are just the four values here yeah? and once you do that you should get a total area. Oh yeah, the delta x, just in case you know what this means, this means the, the change in x, so what's happening in each step. So we're going up in point twos. So delta x here will just be 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 over 2. So yeah, as I was saying, put that in the calculator and you should get a final estimate area to four decimal places of 1.6413 for dp. That's it guys, that's pretty much um, how to handle the trapezium rule. Now for everyone else, let's move on. So part C. So anyway, this was this was an earlier sketch. So this tells us that fig one shows a sketch of part of a curve with this given equation as we saw. So here is the area and we already evaluate that using trapezium rule. Now C, use the substitution u equals e to the power x to show that the area of R can be given by this, where a and b are constants to be determined. So they pretty much tell us what to do. So they want us to say let u equal e to the x. And now we just have to use substitution to work this out. Quick heads up. The area in general of r, area of this um, curve is just going to be the integral from 0 to 1. So we look at 0 to 1. So 0, 1 of 6 over ex plus 2 dx. So that's what we're trying to evaluate. So we need substitution to make it easy. Because e to the power x is quite difficult to work with at this stage. Now letting u be this term, differentiating this, so du over dx, this will just give us ex, because this is a standard definition. And now we need to find an expression for dx. So we can say that dx, so rearranging this, multiplying dx across and dividing by e to the power x, we should get dx, which is equal to du over e to the power x. Now to, get, now, to keep this in terms of u, we already know that the value ex is, is also u. So dx is also equal to du over u. And that's it, guys. Now, let's substitute everything back into this area, into this equation here. So we should have that the area is now the integral. So we'll do the limits in a second of 6 over, so ex, e to the power x plus 2 is just u plus 2 times. And then dx is now du over u. That's it. As for the limits, so originally the limits are from 0 to 1. And remember, these are the x values. So x equals 0 and x equals 1. So if you plug it into the substitution of u, when x equals 0, so we're going to have e to the power u. So we're going to have u equals e to the power 0. This gives us a value of 1. When you plug in e to the power 1, you get a value of e. So in fact, the actual limits are from 1 to e. And hence, the final solution would be the integral of 1 to e and then 6 over u times u plus 2 all from here times du and that's it guys this is how you prove the area of the equation done 
Okay guys, now the final part of the exercise is to work out the exact area and this is using the method of integration by partial fraction decomposition. In other words, we're given this integral which is 6 over u times u plus 2 all from 1 to e and we need to realize that we can partition this fraction into a over u and b over u plus 2. And now all we have to do is work out the values a and b and then integrate these simple fractions which will give you logs. So let's go ahead and do this here. So let's say, um, let's, let's solve this. So we're going to have a, a, a fraction of 6 over u times u, 6 over u times u plus 2, which is equal to a over u plus b over u plus 2. Now, if we were to multiply everything by u and u plus 2, this first term will cancel the u and then we're going to have u plus 2 attached to the a. So let's have, so we're going to have 6 equal a times u plus 2. As for b, if you multiply everything by u and u plus 2, the u plus 2 is a cancel and you left with just a u, so it would be b, u. Now to calculate these values a and b, we just need to substitute some values for u to get to eliminate it. So let's say, let's let u equal 0 firstly. What happens? We're going to have 6 equals a times um, 0 plus 2, which would, just, which would just simply give us 2a. Let me just write it down quickly. So, 2a, and then when you plug in um, u equals 0 for b, this will just become 0. So you're left with 6 equals 2a, and therefore a must equal 3. Easy stuff. Now, same thing applies here. So let another value for u. So now we're trying to find the value of b. So let's say, let's say u equal minus 2, so then this part will cancel out. So when u equals negative 2, we're going to have 6 equals a times 0 which is 0 and then plus b times negative 2 so that would be minus 2b and likewise b here would equal minus 3 easy stuff and that means our, now our new integral is going to be the integral of so replace a with 3 so 3 over u minus 3 over u plus 2 all respect to u and this is from 1 to e all right another cool thing is that we can just literally take out the u right now the 3 right now so we're going to have 3 and then the integral of e to 1 1 to e and we're going to have 1 over u minus 1 over u plus 2 du now this is just simple evaluation so let's plug in so every time we want to evaluate this uh, fractional term this will just give us the log of u so we're going to have firstly the log of u minus and then this term here will also give us the log of u plus 2 and this is from 1 to e. Just to make a quick note why this is log u plus 2, the key idea is to differentiate the bottom term, realize you get 1. So you stick 1 outside and then you smash it over into a log. And that's what we just did, it would be log u plus 2. So, last thing to do. Now all you do is plug in the values for e and 1. So let's do it in two parts. When we plug in the values for e, what do we get? I'll do it like this. So you're going to have log ln e, so this will give us 1. And put e here, we're going to have ln e plus 2. So we're going to have 1 minus ln. You can't actually do it, it's too tight. Let me, just, let me do Let me go on and leave. So you're going to have 3 times. So over here, we're going to have 1 minus ln e plus 2. Now, the last term, so we're going to subtract against when we put 1. If you put 1 for the ln, you're going to have ln 1, which is 0, minus, and put 1 over here, we're going to have log 2. So ln 2. And that's it, guys. Now all you do is tidy this up. And then you'll realize that if you could just tidy this up easily, you got 0 minus this term. So this will be a positive log 2. So it'll be 1 minus ln e plus 2 plus log 2. And simplifying the, all of it neatly, you should get 1 plus, let's see, log 2 over e plus 2. So log 2 over e plus 2.